Hello my dear students, I welcome you all once again to the online class. So today we are going to learn chapter 3, the cardinal virtues. Before we start this lesson, I would like to ask you this question. Who are some people whom you consider them to be holy? Is it only priests or religious or even among your friends or parents? According to you, what does it mean to be holy? Living a life of virtue or living a life, a holy life, is that from our part we accept the grace of redemption God offers us by repenting of our sins, believing in the gospel, in the teaching of Jesus, and living a life of holiness. If we live in this way that means we are living a life of virtue and we grow in holiness in two ways that is by living a life of virtue and by cooperating with God's graces virtues God calls each one of us to prove our love for him by growing in prayer and good works we can show our love for God by living the virtues Besides supernatural virtues, there are other virtues that we need to acquire. Now let us see in the next slide, what are those virtues that we need to acquire? Remember, my dear children, that human virtues are those virtues we can acquire by human effort. But there are the cardinal virtues like temperance, prudence, fortitude, justice, we need God's grace because they are the source of the other virtues. Prudence The virtue of prudence is the ability to make the right choice. There are at times in difficult situations we are not sure what action to choose. So therefore this virtue of prudence will help us to do in order to be faithful to Jesus. And this prudence also helps us to decide responsibly, responsibly and it is also known as common sense and wisdom. It is use of memory, foresight, imagination and openness to learning to discover the right course of action in every situation. Justice is the virtue that helps us to live honestly by respecting the rights of everyone. The person who is just will give to everyone what is their due. So to God we give worship, to our parents we give respect and obedience, and to our friends charity and loyalty. Giving due to God and neighbor, that is called justice. And the four types of justice is commutative, regulate relationships of exchange between individuals and social groups, distributive seeks fair distribution of the goods of creation, legal governs that individuals or society as a whole, and social applies the gospel message of Jesus Christ to the structures, systems, and laws of society. Fortitude is the virtue that helps us to face any danger or difficulty with inner peace and courage. All the holy martyrs of the church showed this great fortitude when they chose to remain loyal to Christ even though this meant being killed. Fortitude enables us to be strong to face even the most challenging of situations. Although we may not face martyrdom, Yet, there can be situations in our daily lives that test our faith, like our love for God and the status of every Christian life. For example, it takes fortitude to choose to speak the truth at a risk of being punished. It takes fortitude not to join in when people speak ill of God or neighbor or the church. The fourth virtue is temperance. Temperance means the power to control ourselves. It not only regards the use of food and drink, but also various other aspects of our life, for example, clothing, sleep, 
care for the body, desire for the use of the media, etc. The three parts of temperance are abstinence, tempers are desire for food and other pleasures producing substances. Second one, sobriety, moderates are desire for alcoholic beverages or drugs. And the third one is chastity. It helps us to control our sex drive in a way that fits our state in life. Practice makes perfect. Just as virtue are habits of doing good and these uh, habits of doing good strengthen us to live God's life in our soul. And there can be habits of doing wrong actions also. And these bad habits are called vices. These vices take us away from God's path. And they are the seven main vices. Let us see in the next slide. The seven deadly sins that we need to overcome are lust, gluttony, pride, sloth, that means laziness, lack of effort, wrath, that means angry, greed means excessive desire for material things, and envy, that means jealousy towards another's happiness. We can overcome these vices by practicing their opposing virtues such as chastity, temperance, charity, diligence, kindness, patience, and humility. Since virtues and vices are habits, we must make an effort to overcome bad habits and grow in good habits. By living a virtuous life, we will be happy as Jesus has promised us in his Sermon on the Mount. This is summed up in the Beatitudes.